Well, it finally happened. I'm at my limit. This is my limit. This is stupid comments on YouTube. We need to talk about this little guy. The poor, misunderstood Baofeng UV-5R with its little bent antenna. Poor, misunderstood thing. There is so much misinformation and confusion about this little radio, mostly from ham radio operators trolling YouTube, posting stupid comments on other YouTube videos. I want to set the record straight. I'll try to keep this video short. I'll try to stay to the point. Don't quote me on either of those. First of all, the UV-5R is a ham radio. To legally use the UV-5R on ham bands, you have to have a ham radio operator's license. We've all seen this posted on YouTube comments a bazillion times. That's correct. It's a ham radio. To use it, you have to stay on ham radio bands and you have to have a license. No issues there. Third, the UV-5R is not approved for use on GMRS bands. Even if you have a ham license, even if you have a GMRS license, the FCC has not approved the UV-5R for use on GMRS frequencies. Your ham radio license is no good here. Neither is your GMRS license. So if you're a licensed ham operator operating on ham bands, UV-5R is fine, but anything else violates the FCC rules. You can listen to and monitor anything you want. If this radio can pick it up, you can receive it. You're not violating any rules. Now, a couple of years ago, I think it was in 2017, the FCC did issue a citation, citation, a piece of paper, to the company that imports the UV-5Rs because the radio didn't have restrictions on the frequencies that you could transmit on or the power levels that you could transmit on certain frequencies on. It wasn't a citation against users, it was a citation against the company for importing and marketing and selling the radio. The company eventually complied and the newer versions of the UV-5R, the UV-5R plus V2 something, is compliant, is more compliant, but it's still only legal for ham radio use meaning you have to transmit on ham radio bands and you have to have a ham radio operator's license. My sweet, poor, misunderstood UV-5R is still not FCC Part 95E approved for use on GMRS frequencies. You can listen to GMRS frequencies. It's not FCC approved for transmitting on GMRS frequencies or FRS or anything else. Even if you have a ham radio license, even if you have a GMRS license, FCC does still not approve the UV-5R to transmit on GMRS frequencies. Are we clear? Are there questions? If you have questions, post them below. Now, what if you have a UV-5R and you do transmit on GMRS frequencies? or you do transmit on a ham radio band without a ham radio operator's license, or you're using it on GMRS without a GMRS license. You're not even allowed to use it on GMRS with or without a GMRS license. What's gonna happen? This is where the stupid level, my limit, versus YouTube comments limit comes in. If you read comments on any of my videos about the uh, UV-5R and GMRS in general, or on other YouTube videos, it is like an avalanche of stupid. Now, I usually delete these comments from my channel because these st stupid comments just stink up my channel. Your stupidity stinks up my channel, I delete it. Call it censorship, I don't care what you call it. I delete the stupidity. Although lately, I'm gonna start leaving it so that everybody can marvel at your stupidity if you post a stupid comment. So allow me to read. I have notes, because I don't want to get this wrong. Some of the comments posted on my videos about enforcement. What will happen if you use the UV-5R to transmit illegally? This is what self-proclaimed ham radio operators have posted on my videos saying will happen if you use a UV-5R. Quote, the FCC catches these people all the time. It's very easy. You will go to jail. You will get a $10,000 fine. 
you will get a $250,000 fine. This is the best one. This is where we take stupid to the next level. National Park and Forest Service Rangers are stopping people seen using the UV-5R and issuing $10,000 citations. These are all from self-proclaimed ham radio operators. According to public records that the FCC is required to keep and make public, the FCC has never, not once, issued a citation for somebody using a UV-5R. There was that citation issued to the company importing the radios in 2017. That's been resolved. And again, that was against the import and sale and marketing of the radios, not against the use of the radios. So let's just be clear on this so that all those very smart ham radio operators that apparently do nothing more than troll YouTube looking for videos about the UV-5R to post this BS. Let's be clear on this. The FCC has never done any of that. And it's not that they don't care. It's just the FCC is going after bigger fish. If you're, if you're using the UV-5R to cause interference or do something harmful, or if you're just being a dickhead, and if somebody complains multiple times, you can get in trouble. I couldn't find any records of that happening, but that's the kind of thing that the FCC would go after. Generally, the FCC is going after big companies and pirate radio stations, and honestly, they just don't have the time to go after some four by four group in the desert somewhere using these to talk to each other. Now, I know that the ham radio operators are gonna swarm in on this video because they're out trolling looking for videos about this radio. And they're gonna be falling all over themselves to tell us that I'm wrong or that the FCC, you've seen what they post. They're gonna be falling all over themselves to show us how smart they are. And in doing so, make themselves look like idiots. But unless those comments include a link to a valid source like the FCC website about a prosecution or citation, ignore it. They're, they're just making it up. For some reason, they have an uncontrollable urge to vilify poor, innocent Chinese UV-5R. Maybe it's because it's Chinese. Maybe those ham radio operators are racist. Are you a racist? Talk bad about the UV-5R because it's Chinese? Don't be a racist. Now, as you know, I do welcome helpful and constructive criticism and comments. I just never get it because it's nothing but a bunch of idiots making comments mostly. Level. But when you're looking through the comments below on this video, feel free to add your own. The comment doesn't include a link to a valid source. Just consider it a fairy tale made up in the demented mind of some socially retarded ham radio operator. Now, don't get me wrong. I do not advocate rolling through stop signs and I do not advocate using the UV-5R illegally. I'm sure there's gonna be comments below from people that didn't watch the entire video saying, oh, he's advocating using the, he's gonna go, you're gonna go to jail. How is this ch channel online? You're gonna see those comments because they're too stupid to watch the whole video. It is rules and laws that separate us from animals. If you don't already have a UV-5R and you're looking to buy a new radio for GMRS, get a legal GMRS radio. They, don't, they cost a few dollars more, but might as well just start out the right way. If you're looking for an inexpensive ham radio and you have your license or you're gonna get your license and you're gonna use the radio only on legal ham bands, get a UV-5R. But otherwise, get something legal, but for the love of baby Jeebus, don't be a racist. Stop spreading lies about my UV-5R. If you have questions or comments, and I'm sure you will, that's okay. I welcome them. Set me straight. Just don't set me straight without a link to a source. Leave a comment below. Stupid comments will be pinned at the top for everybody to marvel at. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you on the trip.